Greetings, everybody. Who wrote the Bible? Very good question. Well, evil people or the devils, the fallen angels, they would not have written the Bible. Why? Well, because it condemns them and their evil works. Think about it. So the evil people didn't write it. What about good people or the good angels? Well, they could not have written the Bible either because by saying that it was from God when it was not, it was rather from their own fabrication, you know, I mean, let's face it, good people are the angels. If they wrote the Bible saying it was from God, but it wasn't, it was from good people and angels, that would have made them guilty of deception, and therefore they could not have been good. So the only being that remains who could have written it is God. And that is from someone named Flavel, F-L-A-V-E-L. Now, what does the Bible say about the Bible? Well, in 1 Timothy 3.16, we read, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. In Matthew 4.4, 4, Jesus said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the man mouth of but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. In 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 21, it says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God, holy men of God, spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. When you are reviewing someone's ministry and you want to see what they believe, it's very helpful to look at their so-called statement of faith. And if they say that we believe the Bible and something along the lines of as it was inspired with the original autographs or original manuscripts, what they're saying is they don't trust that the Lord was able to copy the Bible from time past to the present day. When they say, uh, we believe the Bible divinely inspired from the uh, uh, as it was in the original autographs or whatever. Basically, what they're saying is, well, you know, uh, Moses uh, went up on the mount and was given the tables of stone with the Ten Commandments, and then he came down. And basically, what they're saying is that they believe what was written on the tables of stone, the tablets of stone that Moses brought down, but we don't know where they are today. So, you know, did they copy it, uh, the Ten Commandments properly? You know, we don't know because we don't have the originals. Uh, basically, what they're telling you is, it's kind of a, like a weasel way of saying well, we believe the Bible, but we really don't. That's their that's their weasel way of doing it. See, they'll tell you to, to your face, oh, well, we believe the Bible, but really they're like a politician 
telling you they really don't. Because do we have the tables, tablets of stone that Moses brought down from the mountain? No, we don't. So how do you know that they copied the Ten Commandments from that stone and it is says exactly what it says in the modern Bibles today in our modern language? See, they won't tell you that. But that is essentially what they believe. So basically what they're saying is they don't believe that the Lord was able to preserve his words from times past to the present day. Although they'll tell you, oh, well, we believe the Bible as originally, you know, the originals, but there are no originals. So was God able, you know, if, if God was able to create the heavens and the earth, the stars, the planets, life on earth, all the different birds and fish and everything else, you don't think he could keep his words straight from the times past to the present day in whatever language he chose? See, there's people that don't believe that. Seriously, they do not believe that God could preserve his words. People like Dr. James White. They just don't, they'll, and they'll argue against it. And it bothers me because, you know, the Muslims, he'll debate Muslims. And the Muslims are like, well, the Bible's mistranslated it. That's why uh, we had to have the Quran. And Muhammad is even a greater prophet than Jesus because he came after Jesus. See, in, in Islam, God has no son. Even though Psalms says he does. But there's another thing, too. The Mormons are right along the same lines. They'll tell you in a heartbeat, well, yeah, we use the King James, but we really don't believe it because it's mistranslated, and that's why we have the Book of Morons. I mean, uh, Mor Mormons. Yeah. Yeah, and the angel that brought down the so-called golden tablets to give to Joseph Smith, his name was Moron I. M-O-R-O-N-I. Moron I. So what does that tell you? Yeah. So basically it's the same thing. You know, there's a reason why there's 666 versions of the Bible. Because they want you to think they're all wrong. Every single one of them. So... When you look at a statement of faith, if it says something like, as originally inspired, or the original autographs, or the originals, or something along those lines, those are weasel words saying, we don't believe the Bible in its present day form. We don't believe it. So, if you... Uh, want to follow people that believe that that's fine you know james white he'll debate the muslims and the muslims will say well the bible's mistranslated it's got errors and king uh and and james white will say well yes i it, it does and and i agree with you muslims it it does have errors but 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 we know where the errors are and we can correct them and then every, all the stupid churchgoers clap. Oh, James White, he, he won that debate with the Muslims. No, he was agreeing with them, basically. He may not agree with them with the Quran, but, you know, if, if you don't believe God was able to preserve his words, well, that's fine. You know, Jesus said, what did Jesus say? Hmm... Let's read Luke 21, 33, Mark 13, 31, and Matthew 24, 35. Jesus speaking, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. If you talk to James White, it's like, well, you know, here on the earth, uh, 
God's words passed away. They're gone. We don't know. Well, we sort of kind of maybe, I don't know, something like that. So, and he's supposed to be this great Bible scholar. And I'm just picking on him because he's one of many. But he's made his whole ministry. That's his whole ministry is uh, correcting the mistakes in the King James Bible. Yeah. All I know is when you're when you agree with the Muslims, you got a problem. That's all I can tell you. Especially when the um, Book of Surah tells you to uh, tells them to kill the Christians. So what? Can, yeah, what can I tell you? They call us uh, the heathens. Oh yeah, the uh, they in in the Quran. In Surah 9.5, it tells them to fight and slay the pagans, which is Christians. So, yeah. No thank you. And then uh, there's others that say basically the same thing of a, another popular Middle Eastern religion, which will remain nameless so that I don't get... Uh, D leaded from you know where so all right uh chaplain bob walker here light of the world ministries all blessings praise glory and honor in jesus precious name amen